uh, as a municipally owned utility, uh, we're kind of like the PBS of electric utilities. Uh, we're owned by the people of this community, and so the focus of our community is back, you know, to those very same people. So the village of Lons was interested in the possibility of starting a community solar program, but they weren't really sure if there was enough interest in the local community and if it would be affordable for people to participate in. And so they contacted us um, with the idea of doing a collaborative research project that would involve students and faculty at Michigan Tech, but also community members in Launce, um, some of the local organizations and WPPI Energy um, and Whoopiter as well, to work together to better understand whether there was interest in the local community and then if there was how we could they could best design a program um, that people would participate in. This would give people in our community a chance to utilize a green uh, resource, the energy that's produced right here in our own community uh, and, and spread their risk across the, uh, everybody else in the community by participating in a program that's owned by the community. Well, I have been to many meetings. Uh, I've gone with Bob to, to many of the meetings. I'm very interested in actually seeing how something like this could happen. So uh, with Bob's help, I've gotten involved. And uh, I, when it came to, to be, I ran down and bought a solar panel for my house. And uh, we've had some controversy in our area lately, and this is one project that has been very positive. And we have noticed that with the people that have come to the council meetings. And so rather than coming into these meetings with a fully formed project that we were presenting to members of the community, we were really there to listen and to receive input. We also, in doing a survey of ratepayers here in the community, some of the survey data was collected by going door to door, which meant that there were students out in the community collecting these surveys, but also getting to hear from people um, right at their door about their different ideas or concerns. And that meant that we got a wider array of of inputs and ideas than we would have if we had just had a meeting where we presented results and then asked for feedback on that. A lot of renewable energy projects are really kind of led from the outside. Maybe a utility wants to build solar panels or wind turbines in a community and they might even frame it as a community energy project but if they're not really involving people in the community in the discussions from the beginning time some of those projects are either doomed to fail or don't necessarily gain a lot of community support um, we wanted to do this project really differently. This was a very grassroots based project where people in the local community, this was their idea to begin with, and then we wanted to better understand how much interest is there here and how can we design a project together with you. Like, let's work together um, to hear your ideas and to design a project that really meets the local needs and values and interests here in this community context. If we can do it in a town of 2,000 people in the western upper peninsula, I think it can be done just about anywhere.